Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups, Three of Cups. So, this never-ending story continues. I'm so, so exhausted. It's the same thing. You right now are working. You're trying to um, collaborate. You're trying to work on something that is important to you, something that um, creates value for others and adds value to yourself. However, you're constantly being met with this stalemate energy of being at a crossroads, feeling very indecisive. This comes from, of course, a lot of projection, I feel. The hangman is here, so there are delays with the two of swords here and the hangman, the three of pentacles. It's like something here is is um it's hard to get off the ground or it's hard to manage. You maybe you need help or assistance at this time. The Queen of Cups is here with the King of Pentacles. Next to the King of Pentacles is the Moon, and then there's the King of Wands. So for some of you, you definitely have more than one person that is in your energy. Now keep in mind gender does not matter in um tarot so the kings these could be men or women but um for many of you you could be a divine feminine and you have two different masculine energies that are in your energy right now one is coming towards you um actively passionately with intentions to pursue a relationship and then one is of course trying to perhaps keep you um from moving into some type of relationship, a commitment, or a connection of some sort. It could be this King of Pentacles or the King of Wands, Earth sign, or um, Fire sign. Take it however it resonates. But the Six of Cups is here, and the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of, of Cups. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups. So you have a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of abundance, and it's all surrounding this Divine Feminine, this Empress energy here. So... Someone here is looking and recognizing um, some type of secret about you. Someone has tapped into um, this this secret about you, and the secret is is that you are extremely um, abundant. That you you carry a certain type of essence and energy about yourself that allows you to be very abundant, and perhaps you're coming into a lot of wish fulfillment, happiness. Overall peace, contentment, and enjoyment here. You have someone, though, that for sure from um, your past, possibly, or a past life, someone wants to take um, charge in a situation. They really want to come towards you. This energy seems like it's a little bit um, aggressive, to be honest with you. But someone here is looking right at the moon and then the king of pentacles. So this king of wands is looking right at the moon and the king of pentacles. There is two different masculines in, in your energy. And I feel like the two of them, they know about one another. They may not know each other in the physical realm at all. But spiritually, these two people know that there is someone other than them that's in your energy. So you could have a new person. They already know that there's a past person that's still lingering. If you have someone from the past that's trying to come back into your life, they are fully aware of the fact that there's a new person in your life. The two of these um, masculine energies are here, like watching this Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine here. So someone here is rushing in to try to block you from seeing the truth so that you will either be in a mental entrapment but it's like th there's um this this race to the finish line with the divine feminine because just as quickly as someone does something to rush into your life to try to block you from seeing the truth you have someone also rushing in that's trying to protect you so that you will see the truth ultimately you will actually have this celebration here of the ultimate wish fulfillment here you have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles out here with the three of cups so you are protected you will receive exactly what is yours um the three of cups is here the six and the nine three six nine someone here could be using the three six nine method of manifestation here so you could be working very hard right now on manifesting something or someone is working very hard to manifest a partnership or some type of collaboration with you. Let's see. Yeah. Um you're trying to trust your intuition about an offer. I just saw the Page of Cups and the High Priestess here. 
there's some kind of small offer or gesture, some kind of um, communication possibly coming in. There's a cryptic message in whatever message you are receiving. So you have to be very discerning here in this situation. The Fool card and the Eight of Wands, while the Lovers and the Four of Wands, and then the Six of Swords. So you are 100% moving into the relationship that you've manifested. Someone is definitely using like the 369 manifestation method. Um, there's some type of method of manifestation that you are using or your divine counterpart is using and it's working. You and someone are manifesting one another. The four of wands is here with the lovers. But again, there is a choice here that has to be made. Someone has to choose the person that they know they want to spend the rest of their life with. And it's going to require that you take a leap of faith. Someone may have to take a leap of faith to actually move or to travel or maybe even relocate to actually be with the person that they know is indeed the love of their life. The Hierophant is here in the reverse. So this could be Taurus energy. Okay, it doesn't have to be. But someone here is either... Someone here ignored their intuition. They refused to grow, to ascend, to evolve, to tap into their higher self. And this person is now very paranoid because this codependent connection that they have with you um, it's not manifesting into this long-term committed relationship that is going to lead to all of this this abundance, this this infinite love and abundance. And somebody wants that. Someone here is very much in their head. They are constantly obsessing over what they're trying to manifest. Someone here even got so obsessive that they may have turned to magic to try and manifest you. But see, something here has backfired. The Hierophant is here in the reverse. So with the Hierophant being in the reverse, someone here has gone against all of their better judgment. Um, this could be someone here who is unconventional. This person, they didn't listen to their higher self about whatever they chose to do. Someone here decided that they were not going to work with Team God and they were working with Team Satan. Um, and now this person is paranoid they're frantic they're afraid um they're in this wounded warrior energy because they really don't know exactly what's going to happen however this person is steady trying to race towards you with this chaos and this drama i don't understand what this is it's like every single reading this same person is coming out rushing towards you this is someone who i'm sorry to say they don't have anything to offer you they just don't this person does not have anything to offer. They they could be very good looking. They could be wealthy. But spiritually, emotionally, mentally, this person does not offer you security or stability. This is not the type of person that you're going to be able to actually build with. It's just not. And this person, every single time, they begin to obsess over whatever you you have happening in your life they rush in this is a lot of projected energy this person is watching you they're stalking you they're hacking they're monitoring they're spying they just cannot get enough because obviously here you've met the person that you're going to be with or you're very close to meeting this person there's someone here that is just determined to hold on to you they're refusing to let you go it's really becoming sick and obsessive the chariot, the wheel of fortune, the hermit. So, yeah, it's like you're constantly soul searching. Someone here can't understand why you keep soul searching. Why do you keep elevating? Why do you keep growing and maturing and evolving? And now they see that, like, the icing on the cake for you is this amazing relationship that's coming into your life. But it's like this person is constantly trying to block this. Somebody here just wants you to see them. They want you to talk to them. It's like this person feels that if they have an opportunity to see you face to face or to talk to you, that they're going to change your mind. The hermit card, this person is is lingering in the shadows. This person is watching you spiritually constantly. I don't feel like they're coming around you, but this person is constantly watching you and they don't have... Um, this person, they don't like the fact that you're in this very assertive, ambitious energy as the Queen of Wands where you're manifesting this new reality. They want this to come to a stop. They want this to come to a complete, just a screeching halt. They want it to stop. This person wants to blow the horn or blow the whistle in your life. Somebody here has a real problem with you being seen, with you being heard, with you being recognized. If you have a platform, they don't like this. The higher, I'm sorry, the hermit being here and the Queen of Wands... 
somebody in here wants you to stop being seen. They want they don't feel like you need to be so um I can't say if this person feels like you should be feminine or mask. They just don't like what you're doing. Because you're manifesting something and you're manifesting at such a rapid rate, it's leaving them behind. You are accepting the call of your destiny and this person is upset about it because they cannot actually go with you. You're elevating and this connection with this person is completely over. This is a, this situation here is devastating and it's over. And somebody here, they won't, like they refuse. It's like you're putting your sword up and you're communicating with this person like, hey, I'm done. I don't want this. I don't want to be here. I'm not going back and this person they constantly want to battle you. I don't understand. It's like someone here is constantly spiritually trying to battle you because you just do not want to deal with them in the physical. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, goodness. Four of Cups. This person is working overtime and they're still being rejected. It's like you don't want this connection. You're turning your back on something and you're going towards a connection that you truly want. A connection where you can actually be single, self-sufficient, not single, but at least self-sufficient and independent. Somebody here is trying to force you to conform. This person sees you going within and they have a serious problem with you being well-spoken, with you articulating your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, with you sharing certain things about yourself. For some of you, especially if you're talking at all about like a relationship or your life, um, you could be an author, you could be... Um, someone who's a leader in the community, some type of advocate of change. You could just be talking to a, a, a friend or family member that is mutual to this person about your journey, your spiritual awakening and how this relationship played such a huge role in your spiritual awakening. And this person, they're upset. This person is upset because of the image of them that has been painted by you telling your truth. This person is being forced now to see the ugly truth of who they actually are and who they've been in this relationship and how they completely just um ruined this connection and they don't like it so it's almost like this person is trying to go in and do damage control on what is actually the truth like this person is trying to somehow change your narrative because they don't like the way that their story how their character has been um painted or written in your story they don't like it because it's the truth it's forcing this person to grow up this person does not like the fact that you are indeed karma for them this person just wants you to be quiet they want you to be quiet they want you to sit down and and just yeah continuously cry over spilled milk you're not in this energy of crying over spilled milk you don't care this there's a page of this story in your life you've turned the page you're in a whole new book now and this person they don't like it because your intuition has you in this king of swords energy your intuition has you cutting off all things that are not actually aligned with your higher self your purpose and your destiny and that includes this person so for a lot of you, you could be a divine feminine, but this person, they make you very masculine because you don't feel safe with them. This is actually a distorted masculine. They're in a very feminine energy. They want to receive from you. They only want to receive and they don't want to give you much. So therefore, it forces you to be distorted and to step more into a masculine energy where you have to constantly protect and to defend yourself because this person is not a person of honor they're not a person of high honor they're not trustworthy you can't depend on this person so when you have the high priestess here and the king of swords this is also saying you're extremely protected by archangel michael but you're doing things the the fair and just way you're communicating you're being very diplomatic i feel like you're being very nice in this situation but you're making head over heart decisions this person does not like this because your head is telling you that it is indeed time for you to turn the wheel you no longer need to hold on to this because justice is being served and yes you are receiving exactly what you want you don't have to hold on to this this is someone here who thought that you were supposed to forever hold on to them that, that it was okay for them to save you for later and you're not there later has come and you're not there and now this person here they have the nerve to feel devastated and betrayed and deceived and mentally exhausted and heartbroken 
But it's like you t you never told this person a lie. You told this person the truth. The Queen of Swords. Your communication is not the problem here. This person's lack of acceptance is the problem. Queen of Swords still came out. This person wants to battle you. They want to change your mind. And when they can't do that, they send you a bunch of projected negative energy, illusions, and the evil eye constantly. The Tower. Look at this. The Tower. The Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Someone here is hitting it really hard right now. Someone cannot believe that you are madly in love. And you managed to strategically go towards a brand new beginning here and to build and create a life as this earth angel and to connect with people in your soul tribe right under this person's nose. They can't believe it. With all of the blockages that they created for you, you still managed to have this major breakthrough. And the truth is there. The, the proof is in the pudding. Like They cannot deny your spiritual growth, your spiritual strength. They cannot deny your success, your abundance. They cannot deny the fact that you are liked by a lot of people. They cannot lie on you in any way. And it's killing this person because they have no control at all. Look at this, the nine of swords. This person, they can't eat. They can't sleep. They cannot think at this point because it is hitting them like a ton of bricks that yes, you have indeed drawn a line in the sand. Many of you have gone in the spirit and you have cut ties with this person. And they are feeling every bit of it because that love, it's not there anymore. This person has been hanging in the shadows. They've been just hanging on to your energy because you are this chosen divine being, this earth angel. This person has been sneaky and deceptive the entire time. And they've been constantly trying to come in to love bomb you, to sneak attack you. And you don't want anything to do with this person. Now they want to communicate the fact that they want to possibly give you equal give and take but they've been watching you this person has watched you have many many burdens in your life because most of those burdens they were created by this person now they're coming in like they want to play the good the good guy or the good girl and they're the reason for most of the hardship in your life some of you literally have PTSD from this relationship with this person. And now because you're moving on, they want to come in and present themselves like they are indeed this changed person. This person, this masculine wants to come in and let you know that they have completely transformed their life, that they're not the, the way they used to be. They've had an ego death and everything has changed. This person wants to come in. They want a seat at the table because all of the abundance, it lands in your lap. They want a seat at your table, but this person is an enemy of yours and God will bless you right in front of your enemies. This person has to watch you eat. Yeah. And this person is down on their last leg. Look at this person. They're investing in a lot of different things and they're not receiving the return on their investment, but they see that you are indeed going into infinite abundance. They're juggling right now. This person is trying to figure out what's going to work for them. This person is unhappy with something in their life, and this has been exposed. But see, you are enlightened. Your energy is being purified, cleansed. You're enlightened about the truth. Whatever you touch, it turns to gold. You have this Midas, Midas touch, and you are expecting a very beautiful, prosperous, and passionate new beginning here. And it comes as a result of you healing and taking your time to actually work on your own rejection or abandonment wounds that this person was constantly just ripping wide open this is someone here who knew about your truth they knew your wounds they knew your past and they played on it now this person is struggling and you're their karma but like a, yeah look this person here is going through their own obstacles and challenges and now they want to come in and extend the olive branch after you've already walked away, you've turned your back on this person. You're going towards true love, the King of Cups. I just, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what this person wants. They come in every single reading. I don't, the breakthrough that this person's having, that somebody here is having like a mental breakdown. They cannot believe what has happened here. Somebody cannot believe that there is a contract between the two of you that is truly null and void. And I feel like somebody here, you went in the spirit and you spirit, you spiritually divorced this person. 
And they know it. Because now they're forced to walk away. This person is bound to anything that they've ever done to you. And if they thought that you weren't going to see something clearly, you see everything crystal clear now. Seven of Swords. It's, just, it's a sneaky scheme, scam, or a scandal. The Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, you definitely could be dealing with a Taurus person. This person could be very stuck in their ways, very stubborn. They could be religious or they could be someone who practices the occult. Take it however it resonates. All right. But this person will indeed go um, under the table. And, and they, they don't always play fair. Especially now when it comes to this situation with you. This this is a ten of wands. You closing this cycle out with this person. It's creating so many burdens for them. They're trying to get in your energy and in your good grace by any means necessary. It's like their life and everything depends on them being connected to you. But this person discarded you. <laughs> they didn't see your worth of value until they lost it. Nine of Wands. Yeah. This person's coming in now. They're probably full of lust. They're coming in like they're extremely passionate about you. They're so driven to be with you. You know, they're telling you how much you inspire them. You're so sexy. You're so beautiful. But all of the things that makes you sexy and beautiful are all the things that they actually, they love and they hate it. This person has a secret agenda to try to break you down and to knock you off of whatever high horse you're on. This person wants to force you to conform to their way of life or living. This, for some of you too, this person is an opportunist. They're coming in acting like they are as passionate about you and your life as you are. It's only because this person sees you as someone who's very popular, very confident. You may have a lot of power at this time where you're about to go into a powerful leadership um, position or like you're just taking charge, being very assertive in your life. This person wants to come into your life now and they want to be a part of that. You know, it's sort of like this person, they made a monster out of you and now they're afraid of you. <laughs> but they still want you to protect them. I'll tell you, Hierophant, heavy, heavy, like Taurus and Aries energy here. Here's the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Sun and the Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, it's like somebody here, um, somebody, they didn't choose you. And matter of fact, this person, they may have even went so far as to marry someone else or they were very committed to somebody else. And now it's like your life, you have become the emperor in your, your life. You have this authority, this power, this control. You're creating a solid foundation for yourself. There's a lot of stability like you're you're a leader or you're becoming that and as a result of that now you're going into this queen of pentacles king of pentacles type of partnership with someone this is mom dad baby queen of pentacles king of pentacles and the son this is a yes and you are receiving this um life partnership because you've structured and organized your entire life and you've gotten much closer to god somebody is seeing all of this growth within you and they want to go to, they want to ride on your bandwagon because you're going straight into all of this abundance. This is an opportunist here. Opportunist. Don't let this person fool you. You're inheriting some type of huge um, financial blessing or spiritual inheritance. There's going to be a windfall. Yeah, wow. Four wands. And the eight of wands and you are indeed going into a union and a partnership a marriage a serious commitment it's going to be a sudden change to your life you have a partner in your life or about to enter your life and it's going to be it's life changing and this person they just they do not want to see this happen they're you know they're holding on to you for dear life because the wheel of fortune is here there's a turning point here this person's life cycle this karmic life cycle that they've been on by, with you, it's over. This person, the only reason why this person is like still here is because they've had access to your energy. But this person is very possessive about you. They're very stingy, controlling. And you're like their good luck charm. You're, you're bringing all of this good, positive, um, 
love and light to this person's life but all of these illusions that they cast and sent out towards you and projected onto you this is coming to an end you're standing up for yourself now and you're creating boundaries you know you see through the the lies the deception and the illusions Something told you to proceed with caution with this person to pull your energy back, not to deal with this particular person, to put an end to this cycle all together. And this person could be feeling as if like you're being bitter, but no, it's like the truth is you've just become better. You don't want to deal with this person. The hermit, yeah. After a long cycle of soul searching you now are finding a partnership that is a vibrational match and in alignment with you this is a missed opportunity the four of cups and the ten of swords it's a missed opportunity it brought you great pain but it puts you right into your purpose and your purpose is bringing you profits with the nine of pentacles here this person backstabbed you and betrayed you in the worst way okay emotionally this person tried to make you hit rock bottom they refused your offer. They told you that they were bored and they were not satisfied with you. They chose someone else. But see, this person, they weren't checking anything that was in their blind spot. You've always been the person that was able to tell them what was in their blind spot. And what was in their blind spot all along was a lot of karma coming towards them in the form of a lot of deception and betrayal. They're getting back exactly what they put into the universe. While you are here receiving in this nine of pentacles energy. You're being, again, like you're celebrating various accolades and achievements. You know, you're financially independent, possibly financially free or well on your way to becoming that. The Seven of Swords. Someone is in the background possibly trying to do magic. This person's hiding the fact that they're doing a lot to try to manifest you. They want to say that they're sorry and make some type of offer to you. This person could even want to propose a ma like marriage to you or something like that but it's only so that they can ride on this chariot with you this is a bandwagon jumper this is like a past life karmic soulmate with the six of cups here this person is willing to do magic or to manipulate you in any way that they can because you've walked away and you've already mastered yourself you are fighting against the entity that dwells within this person you're no longer fighting up against just flesh alone this person carries some type of demonic entity or attachment that is tied into some type of um old karma like it's a karmic debt that you have to pay the queen of cups is here you're, despite all of the heartache and the pain yeah you're still remaining in this queen of cups divine feminine em empress energy being very mature being creative artistic romantic you're fertile you're you have all of this abundance around you you're very feminine, whoever I'm talking to, and you may be preparing yourself for marriage. Maybe you're even preparing yourself to have a serial, um, a business. For some of you, even preparing for um, the birth of a child, to carry a child. The Seven of Pentacles, yeah. You're building. You're building the life that brings you the ultimate wish fulfillment. Because you are an earth angel, and you're meant to be with an earth angel like yourself. You will indeed be creating and co-creating with angels this this person they can't come into your life they're not they're not on the same frequency or vibration this is not someone who is angelic like you they're not and honestly they have no desire to be so yeah spirit is saying continue to free yourself from this mental imprisonment here you need to make a choice to just heal make a choice to heal by healing, resting, retreating, you're going to get the clarity that you need about a situation here. And the King of Cups is going to come in and they're going to fight and protect you because the judgment is here. Somebody is coming into your life who is truly a part of your, your soul purpose. Like They are a partner who comes in to awaken you. It's equal give and take and it will lead to the Ten of Cups. So the real deal is here. But you have to be very swift in um, taking action to not participate in this ongoing battle with this person here, this King of Wands person. Um, th this is someone here who is very charming, um, very charismatic. They could be a boss, an entrepreneur, but this person has a lot of drama. They have a lot of karma. 
the king of wands, you're their, their sexy. They can easily seduce you. At one point, maybe they had a bunch of money, but this person is carrying the ten of wands now. They have a lot of burdens. They're burned out. They're keeping a lot of secrets. They're looking at you as the next come up. The three of cups. This person is, is fixated on reuniting with you. Ace of cups. But you have new love here. This person feels betrayed. They feel betrayed by you. Like they've been defeated. This person feels like they can't believe that there is now a third party that someone else here is coming in to capture your heart. And here you are having justice, which is you being successful, vibrant, victorious, receiving, you know, recognition and rewards. They can't believe this because you turned your back to a once. You turned your back on this. This person, this lifestyle, and it's taking you straight to what? Of course, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of new beginnings, opportunities, money, prosperity, abundance, financial breakthroughs. Definitely could be starting a business here, starting a family, but you're just inspired to do something amazing. So you have two Aces here, and then you have two. Pa wow. Listen, look, you have two Aces. This has been happening for the last two days. Everything is coming out in doubles. There's something happening with partnerships. You have two aces, the ace of pentacles, the ace of wands. You have the page of cups and the page of pentacles. And then you have the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups. Ace of pentacles, page of pentacles, knight of pentacles. Ace of wands, page of cups, knight of cups. You have an offer coming in and it's going to be full of passion. This is something brand new. It's like someone is extremely attracted to you. They love how creative you are. Maybe they are creative. This person may be very spontaneous. They want to surprise you. This person wants to follow their heart. Um, they carry this prince charming type of energy about themselves. And here you are in your journey where you are being, um, I feel, very strategic in your approach and how you choose your next partner. You're trying to be more practical, more like methodical in how you choose because you know that your person is going to either make or break you. You know that whoever comes into your life, they can either drain you of all of your essence and your energy and, and your abundance or they're going to build something with you you only want the the strongest person around you and somebody knows that they're not strong enough to be with you and the tower here with the five of wands yeah someone here they cannot believe there's there's some type of competition here and the truth is what somebody is realizing is that whoever is in your life or about to enter your life they can't even compete with this person because they truly just don't compare this person is stressed out and they are obsessing over this situation because someone here is juggling life money another family they're trying to balance everything in their life in hopes that they can move towards you because you are the high priestess and the star but this person is going to be caught every single time that they try to make any movements towards you every time they try to come towards you they get caught somehow and they're stuck in all of this guilt like they're feeling the loss of you this person is in deep deep despair Okay, because you have Archangel Michael here that's ensuring that you are not stuck at a crossroads. It's like your entire spiritual team, they want to make sure that you are not in this energy of crying over spilled milk and that your shifts actually come in. Someone here is just going to have to watch you close out this cycle and they will forever have to just daydream and fantasize about what it may have been like or what it could have been like to be with you. Somebody just lost you and they need to accept that because there's nothing else that they can do. They have been replaced. God has completely voided out one contract and has granted you a new contract. And that's just what it is. All right. Um, let's see. Let's pull a few, a few of these cards. I'm 
I'm hearing, um, I don't know what this song is. It's Kaylani, but she says something about, I hear in my head something about you turned your back on the girl who got the world on her own. Yeah. See, this person, they can't see your... They they can't stand to see you rise to... I'm hearing rise to fame. Of course, some of you may not be famous, but... You know, you could have a following or a platform, whatever it is, though. They can't stand to see this. Because this person knows that you have new experiences. You're going to be traveling. The more you grow, it's like you're just... You're ascending. You're moving away from this person. This person can't reach you. Yeah, they're very confused because they can't see you clearly. This person here is holding back how they think and how they feel. And here we have it again, fire sign and an earth sign. Some of you guys, you have, this is one person, they have fire and earth in their chart. But for a lot of you, you have two different people in your energy. One of these people is holding back how they truly feel. They're not saying much. It could be this fire sign person or this earth sign. But somebody is not actually telling you that they have a lot of passion for you, but they hate the fact that there is a competition. You have a secret admirer now, someone here who is watching you, okay? But I feel like it's this person that's, that's hanging out in the shadows. Like, they're watching you. They're obsessed with you, okay? They have some type of crush over you. They feel like they deserve you, but they also feel like they own you. And this person... um, they have bad habits. You could be meeting someone new who could be an air sign. You're going to be seeing, seeing a lot of signs, symbols, and synchronicities. Somebody may come in with a gift or this is your, your spiritual team gifting you with this beautiful brand new connection. Wow. Yeah, it says here, take action. There's good changes ahead for you. Someone misses you though. Someone here really desires this connection, but you've discovered your own self-worth. You're working on your own self-worth, so you're only taking, you know, chances and making changes that are going to be good for you. You're not worried about this other person anymore, and they can feel the detachment. is driving them crazy. Someone loves you, though. This could be the new person. Yeah, it says here, release. Let go and trust your angels. Trust that you're guided. Somebody loves you, and here you have new love. You're going to see love in a totally different way once you meet this new person. Yeah, because you were left out in the cold by this past person. This person that keeps trying to get you out of your element. They left you out in the cold. They betrayed you. They neglected you. They abandoned you. Now, you're going to see love very differently because you're going to experience someone being um, a person of great integrity. Someone who is going to be um, supportive, trustworthy. They're wise, they're comforting, they offer you security and stability. You're going to see love very differently. What you thought you wanted and you needed out of love is shifting now because you've experienced the darker side of love. So now you're going to finally experience something that's very healthy. Yeah, and you're going to be shocked that someone is going to actually want to try and start a family with you. You have a new person that wants to start a family with you, but you also have this past toxic person that's going to possibly text you, call you, or confess their love for you and how they're thinking a lot. They're going to tell you that they want to have a family with you too. So it's like you have these decisions to make, but you need to decide to be with the person who is loyal to you. You are for sure going to have several options in love, but a lot of these people who are going to be presenting themselves to you are people who are regretful. Yeah, this is a false twin flame. It's just a toxic connection. This person here is, look, toxicity and karmic partner. This person here could possibly be married to someone that is a karmic partner to them. They were supposed to learn lessons from this person and move forward. But instead, they decided to build a life. They possibly married this person. But see, now you're about to be, you're about to become married. You're about to go into your forever commitment because this person who really admires you, they're making plans for you. Yeah, 
and whoever this false twin flame is, this person may live at a distance. They've been holding back a lot of secrets. This person may all of a sudden say that they want to come in, like fly or travel to see you so that they can relax. But this person, they they desire you a lot. They're going to try to sleep with you or um, figure out, you know, what you're doing. How exactly are you growing and ascending? They want to knock you off your path somehow. Okay. Now the truth is, is you know, I don't, I hate, to, I don't want to be the person that bashes people from the past. For some of you, you have a person from your past is coming back, and they have been doing shadow work and healing. They have been doing shadow work and healing. They are working on themselves, and they want to come together in a union. This may have you very confused about how to move forward. Okay, it looks like a lot of you, you have a past person for some of you that has actually genuinely changed, but it still may just be too late. This person, they're missing you. Okay, but for some of you too, it's like you have a new person in your life. You and this person could have separated or there could be a separation on the horizon. They are at the tail end of their healing journey where they're working on like childhood issues and healing the inner child as well. Yeah, you have a true divine masculine here who's doing the same work to heal themselves as you. And this person may not be afraid to separate you from time to time, and they will let you know that they truly do miss you. But this person, they're never actually away from you. They're just healing. Yeah, this is a true twin flame. Some of you, you have a person, they're not putting you in a third party situation. They're actually trying to forgive themselves for mistakes that they've made in the past, and they're working on learning lessons for the, the purpose of self-development and growth so that they can be a better version of themselves for themselves, but also for you because they do see you as a divine feminine. I really feel like for a lot of you, this is a brand new person. But, you know, and this person, you, you have two people and you may be separated from both of them right now. There's a big change though. Somebody is coming forward to admit how they feel. Sorry. You have your guidance, trust the signs, soul purpose, wish fulfillment. Someone here is wearing a mask. You need to go within and continue working on shadow work and healing. It's just keep saying, wait, there's a proposal coming. Trust in divine timing, soulmate. So somebody in this energy is truly your soulmate. Both of you are healing. You're mirroring each other. But you do have someone that's in your energy that is not healing. But they just want to be connected to you because you are healed. Okay? So just be careful. But for whoever the person is that's actually doing the healing work, the shadow work, the healing and everything to come into union with you, it's going to be a very, very beautiful union because they understand where you are where you come from without you telling them much because they've been where you've been they've had to do what you're what you're doing okay so you can trust them um they walk the same spiritual path and journey as you so this is good energy again you know it's mercury retrograde just be mindful of the projections of those past energies especially um or even new people who are just on a lower frequency or vibration who will try to convince you to lower yourself and and if they're forcing you to do something that blocks or stumps like your growth that's not the person for you let's see i'm gonna pull a few of these cards and then i'm gonna close out Stubbornness. Somebody here is very stubborn, but you have someone here that's coming in and they want to promise you. Someone here is praying that you will accept an offer, <laughs> but you may be very stubborn right now. You're not trying to hear this person out. This person here is walking blindly like they are stuck in some kind of mental imprisonment for some. It's a real like prison, but this person can't seem to get off of this path that they're on.
They're just not healing. They're not growing. Yeah. And this person, they're very hesitant and reluctant to change. So instead of them changing, instead, they want to treat you like they're your puppet master. They, they want this to be a dictatorship as opposed to an actual partnership or relationship. They just want to control you. But see, you're a person who's a free spirit. You're meant to be on an adventure where you can explore and be passionate. You can travel. You can have great experiences and make memories with someone who is like-minded. Yeah. Someone here homeless. <laughs> I feel, yeah, justice, because you are home for this person. You're a blessing and you're home to this person. But justice is they are being completely kicked out of your energy because they refuse to compromise. Instead, this person wanted to continuously have all of this conflict, drama, and comp competition with you. Okay? This person was too prideful. They didn't want to walk away from friends and family or whatever. And instead, you just went and you relaxed. You healed. Okay? Some of you, you've now... Um, been seeking a lot of knowledge about your healing journey. Maybe you're even teaching other people about how to survive. I'm hearing narcissistic abuse. 